Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Joe Biden is having a really rough time of it after that special counsel report showed how he handled classified documents. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, if you're watching this channel, you probably already know that Joe Biden has a history of bold-faced lies. I mean, just straight, absolute fabrications of reality from where he's taught at college, where he's gone to college, where he's gone to church, things he's done during the civil rights movement. I'm just totally fabricate stuff out of thin air. Well, he's very rarely fact-checked on these things by the mainstream media, but his lies after the special counsel report when he had a press conference were so egregious, were so fanciful, were such blatant lies that even CNN had to fact-check him on it, and they caught three of the most glaring lies in his speech. I want you to listen to this video where they actually highlight exactly how he was lying. And then I'd like you to give me your opinion on it. Also, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now, CNN senior reporter, Daniel Dale. Great to see you, by the way. Daniel, haven't seen you in a you while. Too, One thing that President Biden said is basically that he stored the documents in filing cabinets that could be locked. Let's listen. All the stuff that was in my home was in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked. Daniel? Just... Just not true, John. Uh, this report from the special counsel includes photos. Those photos include shots of a box uh, just sitting in President Biden's Delaware garage. The special counsel described it as a badly damaged box sitting amid household detritus. So there was some material that was in c cabinets uh, locked or lockable, as the president said, but all of it certainly not. And that open, unsealed, damaged box included, according to the special counsel, highly sensitive, top secret material about the war in Afghanistan. Okay, another claim that President Biden made None of the documents were highly classified. Let's listen. None of it was high classified. Didn't have any of that red stuff on it. You know what I mean? Around the corners. None of that. Daniel. That claim that he didn't have any material that was quote unquote high classified is also not true, John. The special counsel's report says that the president possessed multiple highly classified documents that were indeed marked as being highly classified documents, including some marked as top secret slash SCI, sensitive compartmented information. That is a very high level of classification. For example, special counsel Her uh, discussed two top secret documents about Afghanistan found in that open, unsealed damage box in the garage, one of which Her said, contains highly sensitive info about military programs and another that contains info about sensitive intelligence and sources and methods. Now, it's not clear, John, if any of those Biden documents had those colored borders we saw on classified docs that former President Trump had, which I think is what President Biden was referring to uh, when he talked about red around the corners. But still, whatever coloring these documents had, the special counsel says they were clearly marked as highly classified. And then I should add, her also said that investigators' analysis of Biden's own handwritten notes from his time as vice president showed that these notebooks also contained highly classified info, though those were not marked. And her said a sampling of 37 excerpts found that, quote, eight are top secret with sensitive compartmented information, seven of which include information concerning human intelligence sources, plus six others that were top secret. Uh, and then the third claim that he made, Daniel, there was that he did not share classified information with a ghostwriter on a book he was working on. Listen to that. I did not share classified information. I did not share it. With your ghostwriter? With my ghostwriter, I did not. Guarantee you did not. But the what special the, counsel said well, in the no, report that he did, did not say that. Okay, open he did not say that. So he's entitled to say he didn't do it. He can defend himself. But he also said the special counsel didn't say that he did share that classified info with the ghostwriter. Except, John, the special counsel did say that explicitly. Her wrote, quote, Mr. Biden shared information, including some classified information from those notebooks with his ghostwriter. So there it is in black and white. Now, her did elaborate that Biden shared classified info with the ghostwriter uh, by reading nearly verbatim from the notebooks on at least three occasions, including notes from meetings in the Situation Room. He did 
find that Biden, quote, at times tried to avoid sharing classified info, like by skipping over certain material as he was reading them to the ghostwriter. And Heard did write that the evidence does not show that Biden knew the info was classified. Nonetheless, even though the special counsel did clearly give him some material to defend himself with, this is not a factual defense. So he could cite the factual stuff, you know, her said, didn't know it was intentional, et cetera. But declaring the special counsel just did not say what he said, John, is not a factual defense.